Hi VC, I hope everybody's well. Um, I'm back again to do another recent finds video. Um, again, I've left it a little bit too late. Got a few things to show you. Um, getting in a bit of a mess with my records. I've just been going a few, th been going through a few things, uh, and I'm not even sure, and I can't remember what I've showed you and what I haven't. Uh, so apologies for that. I'm going to start off with some record store day finds today. Um, this is seven inch single. This is UFOs live and ready. I'm a massive UFO fan and uh, when I saw that I thought I'll add that to the collection. This is one that probably a lot of people have seen around um, on Record Store Day, this is Hawkwind. Uh, only bought three 7 inch singles, um, this is 5x5, five five, the last one 5x5 five by, five by the Rolling Stones. So that's cool. Uh, I bought some, um, a total of four um, 10 inch singles stroke EPs this is the Dresden's this is on blue vinyl and this is uh, limited edition number 33 of 250 and that's not an EP that's an actual album there's um, 14 tracks on there so that's actually good value uh, this is one that I wanted this is Continental OP or OP I'm not sure how you say it this is um, Rory Gallagher and you might be able to just catch there it's limited edition number 210 uh, of how many I don't know uh, these two here are the two that I really really had to have um, this is um, Napalm Death's leaders not followers uh, and as is the way with me I'm, I'm, I'm a bit behind on playing a lot of the stuff I've got but um, I've played this, I wanted to play this already, got a nice insert there uh, and as you can see it's on It's on quite dark red vinyl uh, it's looking a bit orangey on my camera um, but I'm delighted with that and this is probably my favourite this is Anthems by Anthrax another 10 inch EP uh, and on here you've got six tracks all covers um, they, they play Anthem by Rush they play TNT by ACDC they, they play Smoking by Boston Keep On Running by Journey Big Eyes by Cheap Trick and Jailbreak by Thin Lizzy and I'll quickly show you the it's a gatefold sleeve um, and the vinyl on this particular one is white they also did it on red um, as I think as far as I'm aware it doesn't actually say on the cover what colour you're getting. Uh, I would have had a slight preference for red but I'm not bothered really. Um, right, these are my record store day albums now. Uh, this is Morning Rise by Opeth. I was quite lucky this year because I got everything um, that I wanted from record store day most years that doesn't happen uh, this is a double album but I'll just show you the one because they're both the same as you can see it's a split coloured vinyl it's sort of grey and white and a sort of light grey in between where it's going from one colour to the next that's quite popular I've seen one or two VC members uh, showing that off uh, this is Holy Diver by um, Dio another one that I had to have as soon as I saw it and again I'll show you one of the vinyls this is coloured splatter and it sounds fantastic um, and again I've got the original I've got the original most of these record store days but um, yeah, you know, you get a bit sucked in, don't you, and you, you, I don't know, it's just good fun. This is, um, this is another record store day, this is Toys in the Attic by Aerosmith, and this is on the, I think, superior music on vinyl label, which is Dutch, sorry about the glare from my window. Uh, that's just plain black vinyl, so I won't show you that. These are the three that I really, really had to get as soon as I saw that they were available, as I'm an absolutely massive fan of Rainbow. 
Uh, again, I've seen quite a few VC members get these. Um, this is Long Live Rock and Roll. And this is on a stunning sort of orange and black split vinyl. That is awesome. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, live in Munich. Again, gatefold sleeve. This is a double album. The Long Live Rock and Roll was only single. Most people know that. And this is absolutely phenomenal red splatter. Again, it's, it's, it's looking more orange on my camera, but this is a dark red splatter vinyl. Looks absolutely gorgeous. And again, plays fantastic. Uh, and lastly, for the record store days, Rainbow Rising. Uh, again, gatefold sleeve. There's the guys in the middle there. And this is on the red and yellow split vinyl. You gotta love that. Right, it's on to some uh, general finds now. This isn't a find, this is a birthday present off my uh, VC mate Daniel down the road from me in Staffordshire in the UK. This is Blues for the Modern Days by Walter Trout. And I put a message on our Facebook group a few weeks ago to say, can anybody recommend some blues, what, some sort of bluesy, rocky blues? Uh, and this arrived on my birthday. Thanks again, Daniel. Honestly, mate, absolutely love it. And I noticed you were playing it the other day. Let's see what else we've got here. This is um, Holy Diver Live. This is a 3LP gate salt, gatefold set on red vinyl. I haven't opened it yet, so I won't be able to show the vinyl. Um, 30th anniversary edition. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, again, another fantastic. The Mystery of Time by Avantasia. Absolutely love this band. Sorry if I'm skipping through them guys, but I don't want to bore you all. Um, this was, um, these these next two are a bit, a bit different for me really. This is, um, I don't know how to pronounce that album, so I'm just going to show you. It's the White Stripes. Um, for those of you on fa our Facebook group might know that I've recently formed a band and I've, and I've recently bought myself a new drum kit and given me old one away to the school and um, one of the records that um, one of my band members wants to play is Seven Nation Army by White Stripes and we've cracked that now, it's, it sounds really good. Uh, and so I thought I'd have a listen to them and I like quite a lot of, the, of what they do. This is under the great White Northern Lights, this is a live album again by the White Stripes, double album. And I've got both of those uh, albums for the tenor from uh, <coughs> Amazon. A uh, couple of box sets here, what would you do without our box sets? Eh? This is Jimi Hendrix Experience. Uh, I don't think I've shown this before, I apologise if I have. Um, I put a little story about this on uh, our Facebook group, the VC Facebook group. Um, what you've got in here, you've got, uh, a C oh, you've got all sorts, you've got a CD, you've got a splatter vinyl, T-shirts, buttons, iPod skins, all sorts. And on in Amazon, um, this was retailing at eighty-five pounds, and it does about the same on eBay. And I wouldn't dream of paying anywhere near that. And then I saw it one day on Amazon for thirty, I think it was. Uh, so I bought it immediately. Um, but they still had the. This was this is the large T-shirt. If you wanted it with the extra large T-shirt, it was eighty-five pounds. Um, again, absolutely crazy Amazon pricing. So the only difference between this thirty-pound box set and the eighty-five-pound box set was the size of the T-shirt. Um, crazy. 
again, I wouldn't have paid £85 for that. This is one of the best bargains I've ever had, and I swear it must have been priced up wrong. This is Pearl Jam's Collection Edition box set. Um, is the what's in here is five CDs, three CDs, five LPs, uh, and an hour plus mixtape that's on cassette. Uh, it's in an absolutely fantastic box, nice photograph on the front that's glued on uh, and on the back um, and I paid £39 for this uh, from a record shop. I'm absolutely delighted with that, absolutely delighted. Um, the last two now, they're both box sets. Uh, this is NoFX, the singles collection, big NoFX fan and Again, there's a little story behind this. No effects have had an album, have bought out um, an album box set um, of everything they've done, and it's phenomenal. Uh, and all my no effects is on cassette uh, CD. Um, and I really, really wanted the box set, but every time I found it, it was going for silly money. You know, I've seen it going for four hundred pounds, which is absolutely ridiculous. And then a few weeks ago, I sort of bought this as a sort of, well, you'll never own the, the album box set because it's too much money, but this is fantastic. So I bought this and then about a week later, I found somebody selling the, the box set on eBay, um, put a bid in, can't believe I won it, uh, and that's in the post to me. So I'll be showing you that on the next one. Um, so I've got the singles and the album on coming. Finally, um, I quit my job a couple of months ago. Um, and this is what the company bought me as a leaving present. Uh, it's a singles box set and it actually comes in its own outer box as well. And I haven't opened it yet, but I'm gonna soon. I think if I'm correct, there's 49 singles in here. Uh, and it's rancid essentials and uh, I think it's probably the most phenomenal singles box set I've ever seen it's certainly the biggest and I don't oh my god it's heavy it's killing me on I don't think um, <laughs> I don't think you'll ever find a bigger one uh, and I tell you what that is a seriously good present for a leaving present um, they must have liked me. Uh, that's it guys, uh, I'll be back soon with two or three more finds. Um, hope everybody's well. Oh, I'm enjoying the bank holiday here in the UK. Wife and kids have gone out, left me on my own, so I thought I'd do a bit of records. Uh, take care.